Hello, it's Silent here from uh, Tasiki Gaming. Uh, so I just wanted to do a quick video uh, showing you how to undervolt the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D. This process is a little different to uh, the usual AMD Ryzen uh, processes in that AMD have locked down most of the um, sort of overclocking uh, sort of options available for this to sort of protect the uh, the processor due to the extra amount of L3 cache that you get with it. Uh, so because of that, the only real option that you've got to kind of mess about with the sort of clock settings, if you like, um, that I'm aware of is using a feature on MSI motherboards called uh, MSI Combo Strike. Um, so Combo Strike appears to be like a slim down version of a uh, sort of curve optimizer, if you like. Um, Obviously, with say Ryzen 5800X, you can use sort of curve optimizer and precision boost overdrive to sort of boost the clocks up whilst at the same time reducing the voltage. Um, so the only thing that you can do with the 5800X 3D is use Combo Strike to uh, sort of lower the voltage um, with the processor. So just before I run through the BIOS settings. There's just a couple of uh, programs here that I'd recommend downloading just to sort of test your um, your undervolt. Um, first one, not strictly necessary, but I like to have it open anyway, is uh, GPU-Z. It mainly shows sort of um, clocks and things like that on your graphics card. However, at the bottom it does display CPU temperature. Um, the main two is CPU-Z. We'll use this to sort of monitor the uh, the core voltage and the core speed the process is running at. And then lastly, HW Info 64, I'm running version 7.42. This just displays sort of more um, in-depth uh, statistics for your processor. And the, uh, the last program, this is optional, um, but I would recommend this or something similar. It's called uh, Folding at Home. Um, I've mentioned folding at home in previous videos, but if you haven't watched them, um, basically it's a distributed computing uh, program released by a university in Stanford. They essentially do like medical research, and um, instead of having like one supercomputer doing this research, they send out like hundreds of thousands of uh, kind of calculations, if you like, to personal computers. Your computer does the work and then sends it back. The faster you send it back more points you get but the main benefit of this program is that it uses 100% of your processor or your graphics card so I use this program to stress test my CPU and my uh, graphics card um, as well. So with those programs installed and downloaded let's head to the BIOS. Uh, I've seen quite a few videos online and YouTube people posting uh, great results under vault in this processor, but a lot of people asking, you know, how do you do it? So I just thought I'd put up a quick video just explaining how to do it. The motherboard I'm using is the MSI B450 Tomahawk Max. So with your computer turned on, you need to hit the delete key until you enter the BIOS and you'll be presented with this screen. So go ahead and click on Overclocking Settings, OC. And within this menu here, you need to click on uh, Advanced CPU Configuration. That will load up the screen here with the different settings. Uh, the one we're looking for is called Combo Strike. Um, this setting is specific for this processor, so you won't see Combo Strike on uh, 5800X, for example, or any other Ryzen uh, CPU. It's just the 5800X 3D, this. Um, so click on Combo Strike you'll be presented with three options, disabled, which is uh, precision boost overdrive set to off and then we've got levels 1, 2 and 3 so the way this works is that level 1 is if you set for example minus 10 um, on the uh, the curve optimizer 2 is minus 20, 3 is the maximum minus 30 uh, vast majority of 500x 3D CPUs I've seen all seem to be able to run uh, level 3 so minus 30 across all cores so go ahead and click that um, and then go back to the overclocking menu um, the only other settings really that you should be looking at changing here is your uh, DRAM so 
my uh, RAM for example it's DDR4 4000 however you want the uh, F clock to be half of your DRAM frequency for the best performance so I run it at 3800 uh, set the F clock to 1900 and then the, the setting underneath U clock is the same as MEM clock so you want to set it as that as well um, everything else you can leave as auto apart from the DRAM voltage um, I've set mine at 1.35 uh, so that what it, that's what it says on the uh, RAM stick so once you've uh, made these adjustments these settings click save and then your computer will reboot into Windows um, I'm just going to open up folding at home um, I'm just going to use that to uh, sort of stress the CPU just to show that the undervolt is actually running here. Okay, so I've got uh, folding at home running. Um, you can see there the uh, the core usage on the processor is uh, almost 100%. Um, and we can see here the core voltage 1.176 so that uh, undervolt that we've applied in the BIOS um, is actually running which is what we want to see um, now the core clocks there's a slight variation you can see there from the effective clock to the actual uh, core clock that it's running at however this is sort of uh, within reason this is acceptable if you're looking at say like four or five hundred megahertz difference between these two here then obviously you're looking at blood, uh, bad clock stretching um, so you've undervolted too much but uh, yeah I just wanted to show um, how you'd apply that undervolt on the uh, 5800X 3D so you can see there the core voltage 1.16 sort of 168 um, so the undervolt is working there the temperatures as well uh, not too bad, I'm running a full custom water cool loop but you should see a good reduction here if, you, if you're using any sort of air cooler or water cooler versus running this processor at stock so I hope this has been of use uh, if you have, have any questions or comments please post them in the video uh, don't forget to like and subscribe thank you, bye